Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Tempe, welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. Uh, for you, this has only been one session, but for me, there's been good news and bad news. So the bad news is, um, as of this recording a week ago, or a half a week ago, I did a live stream for the first time in a very long time. And I screwed up my settings afterward, where I accidentally muted my, uh, desktop audio instead of my microphone audio for, through OBS. So I ended up recording two versions of mic audio and no game audio for the first session, and then I only noticed it halfway through session number three. So, that sucks. But, it wasn't the end of the world. Um, that was only, I had only put in a little bit of grinding time and done this section we're gonna do today. Um, and in exchange, God, I keep moving the cursor out of the way. Um, but what I did to make up for it was I loaded back, thankfully I had saved right here, a real save. And what I did was I went back. It's going to keep putting the cursor there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to ignore it. Um, I actually went back and did some grinding. Now, it doesn't look like much, but I actually did uh, get some stuff on the side. I got, like, you know, a couple artifacts that I hadn't, that I missed. I think I only had, like, one. I got two pieces of the abyssal, abyss armor, and some shards of stuff. So, in exchange for uh, screwing up a session... <sighs> Uh, I now have to replay the section, but I'll play it through faster because I know what I'm doing. And I got to do almost all the grinding I did after session two because the only bit of equipment I get from before I beat Tiamat, uh, that I, I think it, I don't think it actually would get me anything I wasn't able to get already from grinding. So it's just stuff that's in the upcoming section. And I know where all of it is because I actually totally by accident found everything in the next section in Tia in the Twilight Cathedral where uh, Tiamat is. I found everything there by accident. So I'm hoping to repeat that feat, except not by accident anymore. But yeah, so we're gonna head to the Twilight Cathedral and beat up Tiamat and deal with all those hilarious puzzles. I also upgraded my moves a whole bunch that I hadn't done last time. Um, I now have the dash move. I don't think I had that. I don't think I bought it during the first session, but I honestly don't remember now. Uh, but I have that. I also upgraded this move and my knockup move. So yeah, my move in exchange for doing all that, you can see I'm almost out of souls, but that's because I basically spent it all doing everything I'd want to do. Um, but yeah, so my soul count's a lot lower, but in exchange, we are much stronger for more of this session than I was, and I know what moves I'm gonna get and things like that and what's coming up, so. Oh, hello, batty bat bats. I wanna go get this uh, shard, though. Actually, I think this might give me a life stone, which would be really sweet. Should be a shard? Yeah. New health bar, baby. See, because of that grinding, I'm getting that way earlier than I did the last uh, lost session. The only real annoyance, honestly, at this point, is that I don't remember what I talked about in the first session, so I can't remember if I repeat myself or if I was like, no, that was second session. It's not repeating yourself. But whatever. Don't be surprised. So today at work, I was very bored, so I reread the synopsis of Abomination Vault which is the prequel book to the entire Darksiders series. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. I, th I did talk about it a little bit, but I reread the synopsis. Um, oh boy, it's a demon. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i probably gonna re end up rereading that book before I finish this LP, but we'll see. It depends on how fast this goes, but probably not too quick. As you can see, so it's very faint, but the jump pad to get off this platform just went away. Both of them, actually. So, we gotta wait. And throw it back. You can have it. Yeah, what do you think of that, huh? No, don't do that. Don't don't throw it. Don't... Bad boy! Oh, you piece of shit. You cheater. Oh, look. He's coming to play. Oh, that's bullshit. Damn, dude. Oh, shit. Nice. I love the delay on that dash move, so I can totally dash out of the way and then do the attack from a different angle completely. 
Oop, that was quick. Oh no, you don't have no hands. Oh, and then a punch. Oh, you don't have a neck that doesn't that isn't broken anymore. Now this should respawn. Yep. The one going back, the ones going back also went away. So it's not like I, it's not like I could have run towards him. That one was gone as well. Ooh. I don't actually know if I remember getting this one last time. It's just a few souls. Like 150. So now we go in. Yeah. Hello, guys. And flat. Oh, look. It's a key door. How do you open this key door? Where, what key do you need for this key door? Aw, oh, I dropped both levels by accident. Whoops. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, bye, guys. That was pretty much a waste, but, ah, whatever. And open her up, get the key. The beholder key. It's funny, every time you open up a chest with one of those in it, it's like, oh my god, look at this item that matters. And it's like, no, I'm just literally going back to the beholder key door. Why does it matter? Before I leave, though, let's grab these. That's why I was trying to get down to this level four. But I screwed it up. And away into this cutscene upstairs we go. Let's go do a fun little section. Dude, uh... Oh, look, angels. They are clearly my friends. Now this part's a little silly. This way. Somehow they don't see me. It's nothing. Some demon trick. Yeah, okay. I know what I saw. He's right. Again, how do you not Julia. see me, Uriel? She looked right at me. Somehow war got back there. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. I'm so self-righteous and angry. Ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths. I wish Something I could jump that high. <laughs> Fucking radical. So now we have a griffin rider. Or a griffin mount. And we get Hellgod, to do two arms. Slay him. And then war just kind of floats. <laughs> That's still funny. We're just kind of like, yo, I'm chilling. Oh, Bring that was, down. wow. All right, so right trigger to hold and shoot. We're going to do that almost exclusively. There you go. I don't know why it sometimes does more damage and sometimes does less. I don't know. Sometimes it seems to kill in one shot and sometimes it seems to take two. Killing all the little bats is good to get like some extra health and XP and stuff. So yeah, this section goes on for a shockingly long time. Oh, through the waterfall we go! Hello, angels. Anchors away, angels. <laughs> The only reason I get that I can make that reference is because I recently rewatched the JonTron Charlie's Angels video. Whoa! Ooh, you're a big one. Oh, you have cool ammo. There we go. Oop. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you can lock on up to fun. Somehow the angels don't employ these insanely effective weapons against me, which seems like a bad thing. Ooh, I actually killed him. I don't think I killed the first one last time. That one, I think, lived, though. Maybe there's, like, an achievement. I wonder if there's, like, an achievement for killing him or something. I don't fucking know. 
I don't know or care. There's no after action score report or anything. So. Oh, right. This is the triple big boy, so I have to always do the homing thing, because otherwise I would never win. Luckily, there's no, like, charging level. You just lock on all three and go. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Forgot I have to get out of the way. And since you can only lock on the five things, you have to, like, lock on, fire, lock on to the rest of the orbs, and then fire. See, you just, you just gotta kinda go for it. Oh, there we go. See, it's always better to just rapid fire, get some shots off. No, don't you run, you bitches. Damn yo. Whatever. Whoa, somebody got crushed. All oh, right, these are the big boys because they're going to charge me. Yeah, I can't kill these guys in time, unfortunately. I'm going to try to kill that one with this. Oh, I got him. Wow. Oh, whatever, just get out of the way. I still don't think I could have killed all of them, that's for sure. Look at this cool griffin mount. What a good boy. Was war shooting his finger? Like, I'm just- I look- don't I just look like I'm aiming my finger? Now, it's tempting to go after the little guys with the- with- when, uh, or the guys with the individual shoot right now, but it's better to just mash lock on real quick. Because somehow the little guys never seem to get hit. Also, they're only here to, like, give health and other stuff. Yeah, give some health in there. Oh boy, yeah, now we got this guy. Clear you out. Oh fuck, here they come. Just, it's, it's more a question of how long does it take to lock on, not how long does it take to charge, like I said. There we go. But I am glad I got more shots off on that big demon, because... Spoiler alert, he's coming back in a sec. See, why did the first one die? I don't know. Just get as many as humanly possible. Oh, right. Spike's coming out of the ground. Almost forgot about those. See, you just gotta throw them out. The faster you can launch, the faster you can hit the guys who just fly past you and are just there for extra stuff. See, now I want to hit this guy as much as I can because he's about to turn and start making my life annoying. Oh, there he is. He's chilling. He's hanging out with us. Hey, buddy, chill. Stop it. There we go. I wasn't sure how effective it was, so I just figured mashing it out might work. I think we're almost done, but I honestly don't remember. Like I said, these sections, so there's a bunch of sections kind of like this, and honestly, a bunch of them last a decent amount of time. Just lock on as much as you can and just let fly, and if you hit them, fantastic. Where they go? I don't know. They just disappear. Got some souls. It's the best you can do. That was a little more. Whoop. Someone spawned, like, right on top of me. There we go. That was good. So you can see the orb still following the little guys, but they always get away. Almost always. At least. Whoop. We have to be almost done, I think. I don't know. Just keep shooting little guys as much as you can. Just grind this sequence out.
Nice. That was a big batch of souls and health. That was sweet. Oh, what? Oh, shit. I think I got them both. Yep. That was definitely too worth. Okay, I think this is... Yeah. Because that's, uh, that's not any normal demon we see right there. That's Tiamat. Goodbye. Ow. Ow. This is so cool. I love that... Spoiler alert, as we fight... Tiamat, I assume? Guess she wasn't up for having visitors today. Uh, the whole time we're advancing through this area, we are definitely going to see evidence of, uh, that fight going on. It's really freaking cool. Oh, right, I forgot. We should see him. Because look, it's a Vulgrim. Can't get this because of my chaos. Oh, yeah, I had an artifact. Um. I just get it out of the way. Ow. So I found out, I think I mentioned this in the second session that was lost. There is no actual difference between the scythe and the harvester, except that the harvester is just an upgraded scythe you originally got for, like, pre ordering or something. So, it is absolutely important that you save your money and just go straight to buying the Harvester, which I am going to do. I absolutely plan on buying the Harvester at some point, because I already looked up after the, fir after the first session, be even before I recorded the second Lost session, uh, I had already started looking up grinding in this game and things like that, which is still a ways away, but, so that's why I was mostly grinding, uh, like, artifacts and stuff like that that I secrets that I can get because actual grinding of weapon levels and souls cannot happen yet there's no good places for it yet we're in the cathedral over here. over here so this is really cool there's these swords lying around and they're keys to open doors which is so freaking cool um, but it, while you have them, they replace Chaos Eater, but they don't have any different stats, I believe. I think they're just a copy. And grab and open up. So this is freaking cool. We just walk in on Tiamat and this griffin going at it. Oh! God, it's so cool. Alright, so, obviously we see a lot of things going on here. We got this statue with this weird mouth growth around it, an explodey thing right there that we can't get to. That is a locked door over there. The way to go is this way. It's really funny because when I did my session of this last time, I accidentally went to the right instead of the left, just by pure... And by 50-50 luck, I had gone the correct way. So being a righty, there's probably also like some psychosomatic thing about, oh, we tend to go right out. But anyway, we're in a courtyard. So there's a statue with this cracked ground below it that we can push, and then there's also some other stuff going on. But for now, we just have to fight a bunch. A bunch of these trucking guys. Pop. And slam. Pop. Oh, I missed. Oh well. We'll do that. Yep, I knew he'd die to that. At least that's the story I'm going with. And there, one, two, three, and slam, and dead. Pop. Oh, right, it's another patch. Okay. That's funny, I could knock him up and do the bat thing in midair. And 
then jump into a slam. Bam. That move is still just so much fun. The big, the big fourth swing. Yeah, I'm really glad I upgraded these moves because this is definitely making these fights a little quicker than they were in the lost session. All right, so now we can advance that way. Um, what else do we have going on here? We have a beholder key door and a crystal up there that we can't do anything with at this time, and that's it. So we go the only way we can, which is to go here, so we can go up to the statue. So bomb growths can explode. Kaboomy. And as we will learn, there are many, many applications that are very puzzle related to using these things. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this shaking is from their fight still going. This is not the beholder, this is a artifact, I believe. Maybe? Oh, it's just a rage. Okay, that's pretty lame considering I'd much rather prefer like an artifact or something, but... Yes, I do remember the statue. It, it's only been about 30 seconds since, in fact, I was up here. And this is the Beholder Key? Oh, it's the map. Right, that's why. This is kind of lame. Uh, first, we're going to pop in here. So we can't do anything from up here, but I believe there's a chest. Yes. So we can't, there's no bomb growth on this side, and currently we don't have anything we can throw or shoot or do anything with that. So we have to leave it. Can you just fucking... I love doing the jump offs into immediate other grab. All right, so now we can do that. And you don't even have to actually grab it and push it. it. War just does it. And we have nowhere else to go, so down we go. Because we need a beholder key and a sword to get into the other side of the main room. Uh, and then we need something to blow up that crystal up top if we want to go there. But for now... Since I don't have the horn replaced yet. Well, bye, guys. All right, our first available artifact of this area requires us to, like, go up here. Nice. I think in before uh, in the original second session, that was the first time I had gotten an artifact, but not this time. So we come down here, we get to a nice door we can open. The really cool thing is this room that we just went into. As you can see, there's like a gate over here. Uh, there's also a gate on the other side. I just wanted to get the fuck off me. So there's another gate. Both of those gates will be opened and used for puzzles later. Right now, though, we're just moving through. We're just here for the whole thing. Because the swords are always, like, in statues, or, like, they sit out in the open. So now that we have the key, I think we're going to go get the sword. I'm pretty sure guys also respawned on it. Yep. Aw, oh, you jerk. You won't get around the corner. There we go. It's just so good for doing that. It's great. All right, come on, War. There you go, buddy. All right, since it's an actual jump, I have to... Oh, my God, War. <laughs> Bye. The horn announces your death. <laughs> oh, didn't quite do it right. That's okay. Luckily, it all worked out. Oh, I dashed instead of doing the jump up. That was the thunk you hear. You hear the, the that bounce off noise. Pop. Oh, 
wow, he's not dead. I'm amazed. There he goes. All right, so now we can behold our key door. Bada bing, bada boom. What's that helmet on the ground? I just noticed that. Get over the lava. Hey, look, it's a sword. I could use that. Oh no, a demon wall. Oh no, it's just. Oh right, it's our first crystal demon. I don't know what they're actually called. I just called them that because they do like ice power. Today. Rar, so scary. Oh, I'm gonna take my souls now. I love jumping over their swing. With the jump with the yeah, with that launcher. Jumping over a medium height guy's swings feels so good. Uh oh, no. Not when I don't do it. Fuck that one up. There we go. Slice one and slice in half. Now we get ourselves a sword. Oh, and we're allowed to leave. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it actually let me do that. I thought I... I think I dashed way off to the side. But the game let me get away with it, so... So we are going to come back to this, uh, I guess, offshoot of the main courtyard at some point. I think I know when. I'm, I'm kind of rerouting things better in my head now that I'm not... Uh, now that I know exactly what I'm looking for in every part of this castle. So now we go back. Uh, nope, that was the wrong way. Wrong door, just as I said, I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. yeah, shut up. Alright, so we still can't do anything with that growth. And we still can't do anything up top, so we come over here. Stab some baddies with the sword to get some blood on it to you know, it needs to grease the wheels. Give this give this statue a nice buttery grip. I think we'll find on the other side of this door from the sounds of a heavy-duty large creatures fighting. We'll see some heavy-duty large creatures fighting. <laughs> and Tiamat carried the thing away. So, we have a big growth monster thing up there. Luckily, we have a little explosive bomb to throw at it. And when it explodes, it's like, ah, I don't like this. Because those things will eat you. Uh-oh. Rut row. Why you guys do? Oh, really? It targeted no one? Wow, don't knock me into the fucking lava. There we go. Again, probably a waste, but whatever. There we go. I needed to... Ooh. That ate... Man, the little one just ate that thing face. Oh, I was, hoping, I was hoping for a lava time. Ow. Hey, buddy, you got something on your leg there. Oh, fuck you. Your dad knew him by worrying me, but still. Ooh, did, did he just eat one of his own guys? Ooh, did I get this guy in there? Maybe it's not gonna. Up, oh, of course, of course. I forgot. I didn't actually get crapped last time. I'm looking like an idiot. God, just fuck off. Now I want to pull this off again, but I don't know if I will. Oh, did I? Damn it! I hit the window. Last time I literally turned and just whipped them through that, and it went perfectly onto that red crystal in there. But this time I'll actually bitch out. Get a life shard, which is fantastic. Who else get full health? So, as you'll see later, up there we have a growth monster. We can throw this bomb at it. However, that won't help because by the time we get up there, actually maybe it'll work, but we don't have the block right now. We need to get that block from up top, so we go this way. Oh, wait, no, we don't. I need to put the sword in the statue first. 
Also, I gotta say, one cool thing about the aesthetic in this game, or in this series, is how the angels have, like, the mechanical wings. Like, they're wings, but they actually armor them or something. It's really neat. Right, so. Hello. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna, I gotta use this. Oh, fuck off. If you're not on it, like, the whole time, it throws a fit. So there is our first champion level artifact, which is the second of three tiers. There are only six of them in the entire game. There are, what, 30 or 20 uh, soldier artifacts, and then there is one overlord, and they all give various rewards from Vulgrim. Uh, the soldiers give 500 souls, and then... Um, after that, after you collect them all, you get a shard of a lifestone. And then I think you get a shard of a lifestone in 2,000, maybe, per... Or 1,000 or 2,000 per uh, champion. Life, lifestone shard for all of them again. And then finally, the overlord gives you, like, 5,000 and, like, a core or something. I don't know. So we're going to try and see if this works. So we throw that, and then we move as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure there's not enough time, and we're waiting for a piece of equipment. But we'll try it. Yep, okay. It's just too slow. That's okay. We have to come back here anyway, because that's where the Tiamat boss door is, that red door that we saw down there. So it'll be a minute, but we'll come back. 